Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another hashtag mini moo card Monday. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what this is, it is an open collab that is hosted by Lolly and I'll leave her link in the description box below along with myself. And basically every Monday we do a mini moo card. Um, and I know people ask, well, what is a mini moo card? Basically, a mini moo card has to be two and three fourths by one and I think it's a tenth. Um, and it's really whatever you want to do with it. Um, I have my little box of past mini moo cards that I have done. Um, so you can decorate them however you want you can paint on them you can draw on them you can it's really just up to you but um it's i think it's a fun open collab and all you have to do in your title is use the hashtag mini moo card monday and then just link lollies in my channel in your description box below your video um but you know it, it's a fun thing it is a nice easy project and you can use your scraps to make these things because the space that you're using to create um, is so tiny that it's perfect for scrap usage <laughs> I think I don't know um, now I'm just gonna go in just a little bit because I know that I usually am kind of far away and nobody can see all right, so this week I did not make a prototype. As you can see, I have two um, templates or cards here. I know what I want to do in my head. I do not know if it will work, but we're just going to go with it. So I got these stickers at the Dollar Tree, and I got them because of the gnomes, because they're so cute. But I know, obviously, the gnomes won't fit unless you kind of cut off their arms and that would be really sad but this one fits and this fits and then we have the little stars and maybe the snowflake that we could use on it too so these are going to be our two like focal points I also have some scraps of red and green tissue paper that I am going to try to incorporate and then I also have um two I'm gonna do like a one green one red one um as like a background so let me I'm just gonna start uh, because I have an idea of what I want to do like I said in my head um, but we'll see because you know I didn't come prepared today I had the vision but that's about it and sometimes that's all you need just a little bit of an idea oops I just put a little bit too much on top here. I want to kind of spread that out. Okay. So I'm just going to honestly, I'll just, and I know that my area is really small that I'm working with. And let's see. There we go. I mean, I don't really know why I inked around the edge. Well, I actually, I inked around it because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do um, just yet. And I uh, said, oh, well, you know what? Let me do it in red because, you know, red for Christmas. So, all right. And, like, it doesn't really show. I think you can see a little bit right there, but it's okay because I have this. But this also doesn't really show, so whatever okay so then I thought I'm gonna do like the green over it like how am I gonna I don't this is I want it kind of like like an invisible texture I don't know if I'm explaining that right but what I want to do is use my glue stick and then sort of glue this down on it uh, maybe a couple layers so oh, you know what I need um, let's see I need a little scrap piece of paper is what I need this isn't really scrap but it's all right we're gonna use this okay so I'm just gonna get this nice and gluey and then we're gonna kind of just 
lay it down sort of you know like this is I don't know if I'm explaining it right I want like like it's you'll be able to feel it kind of after so that was what I'm going for um, let's see I'm gonna do let's see how big this piece is oh my gosh it's so little open open up please Alrighty, let's put maybe this one. Let's do the bottom first down here. Okay. Whoopsies. All right, so I'm just going to kind of. So I think you can see what I'm trying to achieve. It's almost like layering like paper mache sort of, but not really. And, um, also, this cutoff of uh, tissue paper, it would have just been thrown away anyway. So it's kind of nice to kind of do something different with it. I'm going to squish this like this. But I think it's a little too thick in the middle. I don't want it that thick. So I'm going to rip some of that off. And... Glue that down. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck everywhere and I don't even know if I'm in frame. Okay. Okay, so, so far so good, but you can't even really see the background. So maybe when I do the red one, maybe I'll do a little bit less. But, you know, like I said, this is just a little trial. And then I think what we'll do is this one because that one there's a lot more green so we want it to kind of be red all right we want to put this okay and then put a star on top i think i think all right let's go and see see if this works but so far so good another thing about the mini moo cards is as you can see like it doesn't take a long time it's not a project where you have to sit down and set aside you know an hour or so to do um i mean it's quick and it's easy and it's fun and um they're just perfect little additions for journals i actually did use one and i think one of my very first um videos in the mini moo card series um where I uh, used it in a project and it was so cute because there's this tiny little pocket that I had and um, I put the little mini moo card in the pocket and it was just, it was perfect. So um, you can do really whatever you want with it. Okay, let's see, let's put this little, this little guy right there. It's a little bit hard to see him, though. I'm surprised. Well, maybe because the background is darker green. I don't know. I don't really know what it is. Let me put a little red. I don't know if that's going to... Well, it doesn't lighten. I don't know why I think red would <laughs> lighten him up. I don't know. Well, okay, that's interesting. It is interesting. I don't know. What do you think? I just, I like the tissue paper in the background. And once it dries, it's going to get a little crinklier and harder. Um, but yeah, so there's the first one. Not bad, actually. Not bad. For flying by the seat of my pants, you know, I like it. And I like, I'm really liking the textures on it. So, okay. So I'm happy with that one. Now, let's try it again. And this time we are going to do the, um, the red. All right. So let me just put this here. Oops. Okay, I got some glue on the front. I might be dealing with a little bit of glue. Oh, it's okay though. Am I in frame? Oh no, I'm not. Oops. Sorry. I'm just cutting around this. Alright, so let me set that aside. 
Oh yeah, I didn't get a little glue. But that's all right because we're going to be covering it anyway. And here I go again with my inking in red that nobody's going to see. But that's it's all right. Okay, so let's get some a glue down. All right, so let's do it a little bit differently this time. I'm going to do... I'm going to do it like this. Wrinkle it first and then um, just kind of place it as one big piece and get some of the there. Okay. Now I'm just going to rip and let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm just going to rip a little and I'm not going to look at the front until I finish ripping. Just to, just to see what happens. And I can always... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, stuck everywhere. Oh, see, this is a whole different... Oh, let me just put a little glue there. So we can kind of mush that. Am I in frame? Oh, yeah, I am. Okay. Oh, well. All right, I'm only going to do one layer like that. But it almost looks like that Christmas flower. Is it a poinsettia? Kind of reminds me of a poinsettia. So, I mean, realistically, uh, the backgrounds, you can't see. that. Like, this one is the red one, and the other one is the green. You can't really see that, but you know what? That's okay. That's quite all right. Okay. All right, so that's what we have for the base. Now, I just wish these little gnomes were just a tad thinner but they're not and that's okay all right so let's now put on little mittens okay now let's see i'm gonna do them like this and of course, you can see like the glue and stuff. It hasn't dried fully yet, and that's completely okay. Um, you know what, though? I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use two snowflakes on this because the actual picture is just a little bit smaller. So I think that it can uh, take two of these stickers, or the little, um, these little stickers. So I'm going to put one up here. Kind of like that. And then we have one. And that will look cute down there, I think. Let's see. Oops. And then this one, we can get it like this. And I mean, once it's dry, all these little squishy glue marks will go away. Oh, that's cute too. I think, though, my favorite part about this is the actual texture. You can physically see the texture in the background. And I don't know why I'm doing the red because it's this red, but I don't know. Just something in me said, do that. <laughs> yeah, because once the little squishes of glue that you see all around there, once they dry, then it will be fine. Oh, these are cute, though. These are really cute. I do like it. It's something very different. Oh, I'm not even in frame. Sorry about that. It's something very different than I normally would do, but I like stepping out of my comfort zone and trying something new. Um, and also when it dries, I want to see if any of these little flaps and stuff need a little, like a dab more glue just to keep it really secure. But I think overall, those are cute. What do you guys think? Perfect for upcoming Christmas journals. I do say that, but of course, you know me, I'm actually going to hoard them because I'm a hoarder. Um, and as you can tell, I have hoarded every single one, except for the one that I made for my Up, Up, and Away journal. Other than that, all my my mini moo cards are in here because I don't want to use them. Uh, and I don't know why I always make two for some reason. Oh, you know what? It was in the beginning. I did a prototype and then I recreated what I did on video. That's why I have two. Um, and that's okay. So this one is perfect. You know what would be nice though? I have, hold on. 
I was just thinking of something, and I don't know, because I have one of the, my Christmas paper pads here. And I usually have like a little word or something, but I don't know if I have anything like Christmas related. I'm looking through um, here, but I don't think that... I'm just taking a quick flip through. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I have an idea. I have a little bit of an idea here. Oh, like I was saying, I like to put like a little word or something on them. Um, let's see. These little things. Let me try. Let me just... So we have joy, peace, and love. Okay, so I'm just going to cut out the three words and see which one I want to use. I know I'm not in frame. I do apologize, but I'm just cutting this out. So I think that the piece would go really well here. So let me just cut that quick. And let's just cut it down and place it. Oh, that does look good. Okay. All right. So we do get my word after all. Or not my word, but like the little words I always like to use. Oh my gosh, it's so teeny tiny. All right. I'm just going to pick it up, honestly, and just... There. Oh, there. Yeah. That made a big difference because I felt like something was missing. I just didn't know exactly what, but that's what it was. It was the word. Now we have joy and love. What if we use both? Yes. Perfect. That way we use them all. That's so nice when nice, um, not nice. It's so nice when last minute plans just come together. And again, those little squishy glue marks will go away once it dries. And we'll put joy in the bottom. You know what? I need to cut a little bit more. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to take this little word and it's going to go down. There we go. Oh yeah, that makes a huge difference. All right, let me stand up so I can see what I'm doing now. I hope I was in frame. All right, let me, there we go. Yep, that made all the difference in the world. The, those little words, and I don't know, because they have a glare on them, so I don't know how well you can see. But we have peace, we have love, and we have joy. So those are my two mini moo cards for hashtag mini moo card monday again let me just put this on so you know what to use as your hashtag if you do decide to um, make a video and remember in the video you don't have to make anything you can just do a show and tell also if you're not comfortable you know making a video on um like you know doing it live on video you're more than welcome to make them off camera and then just come and just kind of show like, hey, you know, this is what I did. We welcome any types of videos that you want to do. Um, you don't even have to talk. You can play music and just show your cards. Whatever you're comfortable with, we are comfortable with that too. So definitely check out Lolly's um, video for today. Again, I will leave her link in the description box below. You can also put the hashtag Mini Moo Card Monday in your search bar. And anybody else that has done a video, they all will come up. And that way you can see what everybody else has done. So um, I hope I see some of you making videos or making a show and tell. I would be more than happy to watch it um, and just see, you know, what you guys come up with as well. So that is it for my um, Mini Moo Card Monday. Um, again... There are my little mini moo cards, and I hope you enjoyed this little craft along with me. So that is it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.